Next part in our build is the FR Sky XM Plus receiver. I chose it because it's supposed to be a full range transmitter. It supports between 3.7 to 10 volts and it has telemetry which it is going to be very useful. I don't need full telemetry, all I care about is the RSSI. Inside this bag we're getting of course the receiver. It has two antennas because one of them is going to be for the telemetry. We get a couple of pins, which I'm probably not going to use. And we get in also this instruction manual. So over here, we have a very small bind button. It's much smaller than the one on the bigger brothers like the X4R and etc. The S bus port is on the top, then we have the plus 5 volt and then the minus, the ground. The antenna connectors are IPX connectors which means you can just buy extra antennas and just connect them in case one of these uh, just break or just get cut. The weight of this receiver is almost 1.4 grams so it's very very light and as I said before it's supposed to be a full range receiver which means you can get about at least one kilometer with it so with our micro uh, quadcopter I think it's going to be perfect also the ability to have uh, the air RSSI indicator will help you locate the quadcopter in case it get lost somewhere. The binding procedure is same like all the other FR Sky transmitters you will have to power it on while pressing the binding button put your Taranis on bind mode and you will be good to go.